I've seen you in this frame of mind before, um, talking to the media backstage there, the head-to-head up there. Is it fair to say this fight is personal for you? Yeah, it's, it's personal for me. And this is the way I am. I'm not pretending to be a other person or say things in, in media or in other in other place and come here and pretend I don't say anything, I don't wanna say anything, you know. It's personal for me because he told a lot of things and you know guys, that's why it's personal. Those are the words of Canelo Alvarez, as you heard him say, Golovkin, you talk one way in my face, then you go off and you have an interview and you say a bunch of other shit when I'm not around. Be a man, you're an asshole. <laughs> Let me counter punch. Um, Based on what Canelo said, Canelo said it's personal for him, you know, um, again, the only thing that I witnessed Golovkin say, you know, is that, you know, he's a cheat. I mean, he did go in on Canelo. But I mean, of course, if you pop dirty, that's what you're going to expect. You, you should expect the scrutiny. I mean, without being offended from something that you were responsible for, right? Now, anything else than that, um, I don't really remember. I mean, I, I do recall, you know, the drug thing. But other than that, I don't think of anything else that he said in the derogatory. Um, you know, maybe pre-Golovkin uh, Canelo 1, when there were a lot of diva style um, uh, requests, right? Um, concessions, like, hey, come to 157, not 160. I'm not a middleweight, come to 155, you know, those type of things, you know, like that's, you know, uh, flat fee and all that stuff, even though I think it was 12 million or 15 million or something like that, you know, that was actually pretty good. But other than that and the drug stuff, I really didn't hear Golovkin say a lot of things. So, uh, but nonetheless, Canelo does have a point. The things that he did say about Canelo he really didn't um, say those verbally when he was there. So I do understand Canelo being pissed off about that because that's my problem with certain people. Like, if you're going to say something about me, say it to my face. Don't say it away from me. Don't say it, you know, say it to me. Because, you know, other words, you know, like that just shows you you don't have much of a backbone, you know, to say it to someone and look them in their eye and say what you got to say versus that person leaves then oh you know what let me tell you about this guy that just left me and i couldn't tell him in his face but what canelo said like hey i'm not this is who i am this is me you know i say something to your face you're an asshole this that and the other however don't get it twisted let me counter canelo right now canelo ain't always been like that he wouldn't like that at Golden Boy. With Golden Boy, he was not like that. I mean, he might have said some certain things, but he didn't say them in, these, in this type of way. For some reason, I, I think Eddie has really, you know, is kind of a bad influence on him. 
but in a good way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's like with with Eddie, now you've seen him more. You, you've seen him speak more English. He's been talking very, very fluently in English. You know, and I think because he has an English promoter, therefore he likes to practice his, you know, his, uh, his English speaking versus, you know, Oscar De La Hoya is bilingual and he didn't really have to, you know. But one thing I want to point out real quick, um, Golovkin's sitting there and he has a fucking interpreter. I'm like, when did Golovkin all of a sudden lose the ability to speak English? I know he wasn't that good in English. You know what I mean? He probably was on like a Vasil Lomachenko like level, but still, like now you have a whole interpreter, you know, to interpret everything for you. Like it's almost like you lost your ability to speak fucking English all of a sudden. Like you took that L and lost your ability to speak English. You know, um, that's a, that's weird to me. But back to Canelo, he was not acting like that. So say, him saying this is who I am. This is probably who you wanted to be, who you are now, but you weren't that person. You call, he called Canelo, you called Gennady Golovkin an asshole to his face. He ain't never say that when he was with Golden Boy. You know what I mean? Even when Edislandi Lada was saying, you know, in Spanish, you know, he, I wanted to, I wanted to break your face in front of everybody. He's just saying, hey, talk is cheap, right? Remember that? But now, He's talking more shit than Jesse Jackson, <laughs> right? So, yeah, him saying that, I, I think Eddie has opened up a whole new uh, personality or version of Canelo Alvarez because Canelo Alvarez himself, man, you know, he's really cocooning out, you know? And for Golovkin, I, I think... Canelo, I think Canelo's more frustrated with Golovkin than anything else because I don't think that he intended on fighting Golovkin for a third time. Because, you know, th that fight has came up many times, and that was one of the reasons why he left Golden Boy, simply because he didn't want to fight Golovkin again. And it, but it was in the contract that Oscar De La Hoya hid from him, basically, that he had to take on Gennady Golovkin on the platform of zone when he signed that $365 million deal. Okay, so... Uh, Golovkin really wasn't in the desired plans, you know, but at least he fought a tough opponent, which he lost, Bibble, and he, now he's fighting the lower end on the uh, on that spectrum, which is uh, Gennady Golovkin. You know, he's 40 years old, go figure. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Canelo Alvarez calling Gennady Golovkin an asshole to his face at the podium. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys been counterpunching. Peace!